Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. That one down as Fireworld. Wow, how'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! We're all frustrated, Petra. You're not the only one ready for a break. Don't take it out on Lucas. Lucas, you're on fire again! See? This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway... Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... There's a system. Ah, Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better than fire world. Come on, Petra. You're not thinking clearly right now. Yeah, you're frustrated and tired. Just, just calm down, okay? Calm down? Maybe I just want a little time away from you guys. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody calm down. I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse.
Guys, I think this is a mesa biome. Awesome! Oh man, you're right. I mean, all the sand and clay and everything. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. I just really thought that redstone meant something. Yeah, it's not so easy making decisions for the group, is it? You don't have to make me feel worse about it, Jesse. Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. Well, we're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ha! There are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? It didn't see you, did it? Who are you talking to? Right, right. Of course not. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. Ugh, I hope not. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh, come on! Worse than Fireworld? Or the Psycho Pumpkin's mansion? Got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't seem right. That was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? Nuh-uh! That thing was like, super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? <laughs> That seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Ah! <laughs> well, that was unexpected. They must be afraid of us. Yeah. I guess we are pretty formidable types, aren't we? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so... blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's in my head! Attack! Finally! Ah! I was hoping for a chance to observe ah! their behavior. I guess you must have scared them off, Jesse. They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. I 
think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. anywhere. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Come on, guys. Where there are buildings, there must be people. Let's find them and see if they can explain what's going on. And maybe they'll know where the exit portal is, too. Hey! Told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone... I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I, I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Hmm. Huh. I guess he's just shy? Ah, uh, that makes sense. I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm going to go talk to this guy. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Going, chickens. Uh huh. That's nice. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population one thousand sixty three. Over a thousand people. Not anymore from the looks of it. How's it going over here? Fine, I guess. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular. Mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. Hey, um, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said. But we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. I'm going to keep checking this place out. See ya. Their well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Hi there. Um, hello? My friends and I could just use- ah! 
Who the... what? Huh? So? Did he stop being shy? Talk to you? Yeah. Seemed like a pretty short conversation. We heard quite the... well, not even a scream. More of a yelp! That guy I was just talking to? Trying to talk to. He wasn't human. What? Yeah. He was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. <clears throat> uh, hi. Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Who's Pama? Huh! Like you seriously expect me to fall for that one? Must think I'm some sort of... Wait. You're serious? You don't know? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there were some outside? Yeah, I met someone. Not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, 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 please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside, but please, they're my friends, and they are people. Please don't forget that. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <sighs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. Hey, weirdos, back off. You will not command Pama. That is silly. Yeah, I don't think they like that. A decision has been made. <clears throat> Pama has questions. <clears throat> You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. We're not going anywhere with you. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to keep resisting them? Because I don't think they like that. All right, gang. Let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch it! <gasps> <gasps> You will be made useful. What? What happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. What is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking in a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Yeah, I'm guessing no on the friendly thing. Whatever it is, I think it's behind all this. My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be... What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer. A thinking machine designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips 
I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. Okay, if this world's so perfect, what happened to all the people? Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. Thrilled, even. We walked here. Walked. Elaborate, please. It's, um, when you use your feet to take you someplace? You are attempting to be cute. Attempt failed. So far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Pama, you better let her go, or I promise you will regret it. I will let this one, Petra, go as long as you can provide me with the information I require. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do, no more things or people to help, until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? I'm not telling you anything about my world. Not a single thing! This is highly upsetting. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. What a crazy coincidence. We're looking for the exit too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned. Let my friends go, now! <gasps> it's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their heads! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. You think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? 
Space Fifty in the sky. Let's ask Thomas something that doesn't make sense. Like a unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Thomas something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and then run out of here. Jesse! That's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me... Hey, Palma! What I'm saying is a lie! But if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying. Which means that you are being truthful. It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error! This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error! Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, It worked! Nice work, new guys. But I'd get out of there fast if I were you. How much of a quicker learner than you think? Paradox status on hold. Yes, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two. This way. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Stop calling me that. Wait, did Palma just say she created it? It does sound unbelievable. But I'm certainly interested in learning more. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! After all, new guys, better stick with me, though. Wow, she is amazing. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> Whoa! A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. Some plan. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm going to use the back room. Throw them off our trail. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Hey, I've managed to stay alive this long, haven't I? <laughs> Just start walking that way and look for the big difference. You'll see it! What does that mean? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. 
Or is it? Seems just a little off. Whatever this big difference you're trying to spot is, please do it quickly because I think those monsters might be... Okay, that cactus is in real life and the painting. I don't think that's connected... Ugh. They're here! <laughs> no! <laughs> she is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. So strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. I don't think that's connected. Ugh. Whatever this be. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. <gasps> Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope you've got an idea for what comes next! Working on it! <laughs> See water. We can aim for that. Looks like I'm showing everything it's got at us. One after the other! You'd think that since Palma is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter. But they're just sliding straight toward their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself! Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes! Their color changed as soon as it hit the water! Hey! Hey, Ivor. Dare you to poke it. Uh, no thank you. Even though it does look completely shut down. Oh, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming! How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we've got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave-in coming up. That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. I didn't actually know you cared so much. You really want to help Petra and Lucas, huh? I still have a few surprises up my sleeve. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. I... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. 
Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah. And this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one who told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palmer would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No. Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something to stop Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. You did what now? I destroyed it. Not because I wanted to, but because it was the only way to keep the other world safe. Looks like we're not getting home anytime soon. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. And you just let Palma start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Palma to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, could you make us one? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper. Hey, don't be being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See, I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. I don't know. I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. I still need to activate the other cauldrons. Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this 
much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. You only delay the inevitable. Come on, Petra, snap out of it. It's me. There is no Petra, only Mama. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please. You have to fight it. There! Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking is over. Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? Harper was the one who saved us from getting chipped back there. Rescuing her is the least we can do to say thanks. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people, and that will hopefully free Lucas too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. It does look like she's lost her way a bit. And found it again, leading right to Crazy Town. Watch your tone. She is a genius and should be treated as such. Although even I have to admit this is a bit much. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. They look so happy. Little weird. Hello, Harper. It's 
Miss Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. Okay. So, having the right item in the frame activates the circuit. Neat! Hey, Harper. It is wonderful to see you. You've always been like a bright beacon, a torch of hope to this world's citizens. Greater than all the world's redstone. You made all our lives better. That... did nothing. This frame's empty. So, what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. The Redstone Heart. By... Soren? Whoa! Another one! Either that name is a coincidence, or... Wow. Thanks for saving me back there, Jesse. I know with both me and Lucas chipped, it can't have been an easy decision. I don't know what I would have done in your position. And we're still going to save Lucas. Don't you worry about that. I'll try not to. These might come in handy. This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't help but feel bad for her. Good morning, Harper. It is Harry. It is always so good to see you. You should not let yourself feel guilty. You had the best of intentions. You are like a flower in the desert, and bring joy to those who have none. Okay. This 
must be Harry. Okay, making progress. That didn't do anything. That didn't help. One redstone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. That did the trick. Here we go. Whoa! Well? What's going on, Jesse? Is it working? I'm starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? Or more monsters? You're not going to believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. I'm Harper's only shot at getting out of this with her brain intact. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. A crafting table! I can make new stairs to get me up there. If I can find the right crafting materials, that is. Hmm. Looks like slim pickings around here. Huh, clay. 
Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Hmm, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these and I can build my way back up there, and make sure that everyone else can get back down, too. These should do the trick. Sorry to crack and run, but I'm afraid I need to get going. The signal! It blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do, don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Get out of my head, Palma! Oh, Jesse. This could all be so much easier. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let's go. We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? My oh. summer team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. <laughs> Whoa! I'm a skeleton now! Ugh. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse! What are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud! Palm is still on my tail, though! Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Oh no, Harper. Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Kama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, 
we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. No sign of Luke. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination oh. sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance gear not useful. Trace subroutine running. Over? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Oh no, time to move. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance gear is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Over? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Oh no, time to move. off on this palma. I'm here to rescue you, Harper. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. running. No time to say goodbye. That's what I said. Uh-oh. That sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central Core! Jesse! You and your friends! You're our only hope! Oh, Harper! You must remove the Redstone Heart! Remove the Redstone Heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! I'm so tired of being dragged away while trying to explain things! No! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek gives on Jesse. I think we can make that headset useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Palma? Yeah, Palma caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. But what happened to Harper? I think, I think she's already been shipped. But we can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Remember who we are. The Order of the Stone. We defeated a Witherstorm, saved Sky City, and survived Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. 
Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa. I just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before? There are three of them. Redstone spires. And, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's... That's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires? Or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma! Lead the way, Jesse! You guys have anything we can use? I always love a good button. Cool. Buttons can activate TNT. But I still need some way to connect them together. We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but how are you gonna lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And... a potion of leaping. These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse! Quickly now! The possibilities... are endless! I want to be fast. Really, really fast. Give me the potion of swiftness. Fine! With this, I'll be able to run super fast and lay down all the TNT and redstone before Palma even knows what happened. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you! Potion, do your stuff! Oh no! My friends have almost finished building our new exit portal. 
and then I will make all other worlds useful. Yay! You cannot defeat me. Your defiance is not useful. Beyond to us. Wonder if those explosions had anything to do with it. Ooh, nice. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut Palma down before it can send its chipped forces through it. I will find you, Chesty. I have lots of friends.
is Jesse. Your tenacity and spirit will help to improve me once you have been made useful. I can't use my last water bucket on Harper while there's still one tower left. This is getting sad. <laughs> the odds of you successfully defeating me are 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. than I could have imagined. Must be how all those townspeople felt, too. Yes. I suppose that's true. Jesse, behind you! Ouch, Jeez. Detected. Preservation. Protocol initiated. What's happening? No, You're shorted out the processing towers. Pop of was drawing the redstone hard to save itself. Get to the redstone heart and rip it out before it's too late! You bet I will! We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friend looks tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to meet your friends back home, you will fail to defeat me, and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your homeworld will soon be made useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me. Bring it, you big dumb machine. Cause I'm not stopping until you've been destroyed. Then I will have to destroy you first. Okay, Lucas. Let's see what you've got. Careful, Jesse! I hope you know what you're doing! You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I've got to get to that heart! Enough of this! Look out! Thank <laughs> you. 
Here, let me help you. Let's get out of here. It's over. Oh no. Lucas. Is he? When you removed out the redstone heart, it must have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now. Because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I am so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. I'm just happy you're okay. I know that must have been tough, Jesse. But I know you'll never let me down. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. It's obviously dangerous. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. The faster the better. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. You're the one who saved us! Who are you? You fought so bravely. Well, I'm Jesse, and we're the Order of the Stone! We walk the world, seeking adventure, and doing good deeds. Wow! Well, thank you. We owe you everything. You're right. Jesse and the Order really are heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um... Yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow. He's the real Harry. Like, from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand Our that... Our home's destroyed. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Palma, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No. I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you do, Harper won't be around to cause any more trouble. Wait, she's coming with us? What, what are we gonna do with her? Well, first things first, she's going to help us get home. Ah. Then, I guess she'll have to find a new home. Sounds fine by me. Yeah. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home. Again. I may not have been from here originally, but you stay someplace long enough, it'll start to feel like home. Feel bad that they'll always just remember me as some mad scientist that created a monster. Just one more thing left to do. Come back, 
Luke Harper. We don't want you here. You know, Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Yeah, it's pretty weird. This place makes my skin feel all prickly. Well, I'm just excited that we're going home. That's what I'm trying to focus on. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. You're not keeping secrets from us again, are you, Harper? No, 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 I, I promise. I just didn't think to mention it before. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming, danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs.